Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a shore track, 7x20, 9,900 pound GVW. This particular unit is most common in a 720 10K. We also stock it in a 7x18, 9,900, and a 7x18, 7,000 pound GVW. Everything you see here is stock equipment for this particular unit. Let's take a walk around, we'll show you all the features. So of our steel deck car haulers, this is our most deluxe unit. It comes pretty much with about everything an average guy could want. And generally speaking, the finish quality of this one's pretty impressive. So up front, it's got a two and five sixteenth coupler. They're doing a 7,000 pound setback jack. Notice it is a drop leg jack. It's got a grease zert on it, top line handle. And then it's got an inner leg that's gonna drop down to the ground. On something like this, you just have to crank a few inches. You're not cranking the uh, full height of the ball or 14 inches or whatnot on a normal trailer. No need to carry around the wood block. Notice the uh, jack is a bolt-on. The plug on this has its own uh, holder. So it's got a plug holder. It's a sealed, uh, sealed seven-way plug, standard on most trucks nowadays. Up front, a little bit different. They've got a rock guard built into the trailer. Gives it a nice, clean look. Now behind that uh, bulkhead is going to be a uh, set of D-rings. They place them into where you would want them to tie down a car. So in addition to more general freight type tie downs like you would see in the side with the rub rail and the stake pockets, uh, this unit's also going to have four D-rings. So they're placed for a car on the rings and then general freight going down the side. Now Short Track uses the same frame on a 7 and a 10K. They build uh, the chassis on these out of a 5 inch tube full wrap tongue and a five inch tube mainframe. Now the reason they go tube on this, tube gives you more torsional load strength than wood channel. So you can get a little bit stronger uh, frame on this setup. So again, same frame even on the 7,000 pound GVW. Now short check on this of course does a steel floor. Unlike many manufacturers that basically take a wood deck car hauler and add steel to the floor. On this they built a trailer totally different. So this unit is built completely around being a steel deck car hauler and for what the intended use for those users would be. So a couple of the other the detail points that we like, notice these are all full seam weld all the way across and all the way down the sides. If you take notice to a lot of manufacturers around the industry, it's gonna be a stitch or a spot weld. Generally over time, you're gonna get it to lift. Uh, with this being a full seam weld, I haven't seen a short track with the, uh, the steel deck ever lifting. So huge detail on this. I have never recalled seeing another trailer manufacturer do that. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere that may, but I have yet to see it. Uh, also integrated uh, fender support with a light bracket. So the uh, fender on these are removable. They changed this style a few years ago, so it tucks into the front and makes it to where it'd be very difficult to lose a set of fenders. If you've got that tucked into the front, they've made it to where even if a guy uh, had a few too many drinks and forgot to put the wing nut on there's a chance that thing might stay on there uh, but of course you got the wing nut to make sure it stays on there and then they also put the safety on top of that as well so it is a removable driver side fender passenger side is fixed because again we're gonna take the uh, car and open it up on the driver's side now notice that is a heavier duty fender it's a uh, it's a uh, teardrop fender and it's made out of uh, diamond plate, not as smooth. So a little bit heavier than a normal fender would be. Now standard for 2019 now, slippers, or I'm sorry, is uh, aluminum wheels. So the wheels on this are standard in aluminum. Of course, being a 5,200 pound axle, it's a six bolt wheel. It's got a 225-75 R15 load range D, eight ply radial tire. We stock this with brakes on both axles. I believe on the 7Ks they do offer it with one, but of course in Pennsylvania we're required to have brakes on both. Now again, part of that building this as a steel deck and for what the intended users are, this has an extended four foot beaver tail. So unlike a normal car hauler, it would be a two foot. This has a four foot beaver tail. Now that's part of the reason I believe they engineered this with the tube frame, not the channel, is because when you overhang four foot, you're gonna want a nice strong frame uh, that you're gonna you're going to uh, build that four foot beaver tail on. So again, four foot beaver, you'll notice the stake pockets and the rub rail go all the way back to the back. Uh, D-rings at the back for the car as well. 
And one thing at the back I really like on this unit, you'll notice the lights are at the back left corner. There's not a shin buster bracket as I refer to them uh, at the back that's gonna uh, say hi to your shin once in a while. So the lights on these are tucked in in a nice spot. Of course, they've got the stop turn tails and then the center markers. So these are rear pull out ramps. A lot of things we like at the back end of the trailer besides just the lights being tucked in and the D-rings being placed the right spot. This is a five foot rear pull out ramp. A few nice features on the ramp. First of all, it's a knife edge. Uh, it tapers down to about a three quarter inch thickness. You'll notice that ramp is also a punch plate. Gives you great traction going up the ramp. Now, on the 10,000 pound GVW as seen here, they've got angle irons built into the corners that box it out and make it sufficient to handle the extra payload uh, of this particular GVW trailer. On the 7,000 pound GVWs, those angles would not be there. You also notice these are finger jointed ramps. They hook into the back. Uh, doesn't allow the ramp to move forward, backward, or side to side. Generally, on a ramp setup, it's going to be able to slide to the side, and it would be a hook style that would keep it from moving front to back. This setup here uh, prevents it, again, from moving unnecessarily on you. So, again, it is a five foot ramp. Five foot ramp combined with the four foot dovetail give a nine foot total transition. Uh, nine foot total transition make this ideal for most of your lower profile cars. A normal wood deck car hauler will get most uh, vehicles on. This will get some of your more specialty type, say a Corvette or similar up on. Load angle on this is gonna be right around 10 degrees, whereas a normal car hauler is gonna be about 12 to 12 and a half and pushing 13 on a 10,000 pound GVW unit. If you need a lower load angle than this, if you've got something that's uh, customized, has a uh, front spoiler similar, we do also offer a unit called a rollback that gets an even lower angle. But again, as mentioned, most any stock car uh, will go up this particular unit just fine. One of the key details to this that we like, Short Track currently builds this unit at their dump trailer plant. Uh, because dump trailers have a lot of steel, they put in a state-of-the-art plant that has their most uh, complete and thorough uh, powder coating system. So again, it is currently built there. This is uh, quarter one, 2019. Don't know if there's plans for that to change down the road, but this is one of the best finishes on a Short Track trailer. Dump plant uh, has all the, st the steel stored inside. Uh, they blast the final product with a steel grit, not a sand grit. And they phosphate wash and do a zinc primer. So the newer process they're using includes the, uh, the zinc primer uh, after the phosphate rinse and before the powder coat. Again, also the store is all handled and uh, stored inside. And then the final complete product is blasted, not any individual components. So again, you're getting the complete trailer, top to bottom, front to back, uh, your fenders, your rub rails, all the flats, everything on this uh, gets blasted. So very, uh, very durable finish on these, more so than, than uh, pretty much about anything else we carry. Do you have any questions on this particular unit or any of the other trailers that we uh, carry? Feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.